Capturing a great portrait is only half the battle. To make it truly shine, you need to do some retouching. As photographers and retouchers, we spend so much time retouching images after taking them. But with Retouch For Me AI plugins, it's now easier than ever to achieve professional quality retouching in no time. From blemish removal, dodge and burn, teeth and eyes whitening, Retouch For Me AI has got you covered. With just a few clicks in Capture One without going through Photoshop, I'll take you through how I transformed this image using Retouch For Me AI. The image for this demonstration was shot by an awesome photographer based in the US by name Spicy T. In this demonstration, I'll use just two plugins from Retouch for me, the heel and then Dodge and Burn. The image you see here is straight out of camera. So let's do some raw processing and then move on. Our raw processing is done and we move to healing. Let's zoom in and see what we want to do. So there are some blemishes on her face and on her skin here that we would want to take care of. So usually you will send this to Photoshop and then do all that. But in this demonstration, we are going to use just two plugins from Retouch For Me to do that without having to go through Photoshop. Once we are done with our raw processing, right click on the image and then we go to Edit With. So over here, we go to other and then we go to applications and then navigate to where we have a retouch for me plugin. So here we have the heel. So we select it and then click open. I'll leave these um, options just as they are and then click edit variant. So that creates a variant for us over here. It opens the Retouch For Me plugin page for us. So let me increase it. And here, just like in the previous video that I did, everything here is the same. Just that now we are running it from Capture One instead of Photoshop. So let's zoom in till we can see clearly. So this is after. If we click on original, we see before and after. Before, after. You see, it did a clean job for us. So let's go to the face and look at it. This is before and this is after. I like what I see here. Now, this is just um, a walkthrough. If you want an in-depth tutorial, then check this video showing on the screen so you can understand everything that has been done here. So once we are okay, I click on save. So it's going to save the changes we did to the original image in Capture One. So I can go ahead and close this. And if we come here, we see there is a TIFF version of this. So let's put them together and then zoom in, zoom in here. So you see on the left is after, on the right is before. You see the plugin did a great job by taking off the blemishes. So this is our first step, which is taking off the blemishes. So we move to the second step, which is dodge and burn. Now, we have two versions of this image here. This is the raw, the one that we raw processed. And then this is the tip that we got from doing the heel. So we are going to continue working on this one, not the first one. If we go back to this first one, then we'll lose the heel that we applied. So we right click on this and then go to edit with and then other. Then same way, we go to applications and then we navigate to where we have our retouch for me, dodge and burn. Then we click open. So the same thing, we'll leave all these things as same, then edit variants. So that will create another variant of that file and then open the dodge and burn panel for us. So we will increase it as well. And as I stated in the previous video, this tool requires a lot of processing power. So make sure your system is strong enough to handle the load. For dodge and burn, it takes much more processing power than heal. So this will take quite some time. And also I leave it on auto. So it automatically detects the kind of image we have to work on. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in so we can check. Yeah, the blend mode is 100. 
So let's go to original. Um, you can see what it has done. If you look at original and now, it has done quite a great job. Let's look at her face. Let's zoom into 200 and then original and now. Okay, so I would want to increase it up a bit to say 120. All right, so let's do before and after. And if you noticed, the fan of my laptop has kicked in. So if you can hear some sound going on, then that should tell you this AI requires a lot of processing power. So here, let me go down here a bit and then check before and after, before and after. I'm happy with the results, so I'll go to save. It saves our progress to file. Once it's done, I'll just go ahead and close this. And now we have our second variation, which is this particular one. So I'll put all three side by side so that you see the difference. So this and then that. So let's get rid of this. Now, this is one, this is two, and then this is three. So here, over here in the middle is our original image. On the left is um, the one we did with just healing. And then on the right is with dodge and burn. So let me give you just the before and then final after so you can have a good look. So this is original image and this is after applying both plugins on it. So let's go all the way down here and you can see the difference. This is a huge difference. I did not have to send this image to Photoshop to get all these done by using just the plugin inside Capture One. I've been able to do this. So you can imagine how much time this saves you when you're retouching. So why spend hours manually retouching your portraits when you can achieve stunning results with Retouch For Me AI? Take your portrait retouching to the next level by heading to the Retouch For Me website and download a trial version of any of the plugins. Once you like it, just go ahead and make a purchase. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching.